So I briefly saw this pop up in my like news feed whilst I was away, and I did want to talk about it. Um, I feel like I have some thoughts. I may be a touch late to the party, but it is what it is. But I did want to say some things. Um, so Far Cry 6 has received a Game of the Year edition despite winning no real notable awards. And it's going for $120 when you can find the game for, for probably about $20. So that translates to about, in the UK it's about £100. You can find it on offer for £20. If you were to look at the pound dollar conversion, that's irrelevant. That's just the price it's going for in the UK. You can find it on offer for less, depending on where you look. It's a game with basically nobody playing it anymore because it's a typical Ubisoft game. If you play one, then you've played most of them. Ubisoft releasing a Game of the Year edition for Far Cry 6, which is basically just Far Cry 3 for the fourth time at least, and didn't win any notable awards that would warrant such a title, is just another example of how Ubisoft's regurgitated mediocrity is degrading the games industry. Have I played Far Cry 6? No, I can't speak to its actual quality, but from Ubisoft's track record and what I've read about it online, there is no reason for me to believe that it's any different. The title Game of the Year perhaps gets thrown around a bit too much to keep track of. There are games that certainly have earned those titles that release Game of the Year editions. It's whatever, it's a title that usually suggests that it's won an award, you know, or that it's at least been nominated, I suppose. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but for the most part, usually, that is then to sell the full, complete experience, including the expansions, other bits, at a price that is considered a deal. Far Cry 6 Game of the Year Edition does do the bit where it's selling the game with everything, not including everything on the digital storefront, of course. How else would they get more money from you? But then it slaps an absurd, ludicrous price tag on it, when it would be cheaper to buy everything individually. And if you do not look for the best deal possible when buying these things, then what are you doing? <laughs> so Ubisoft doing that is a real sort of like indicator as to what they're actually doing here. Do they believe their game was game of the year? No, they don't. Do they care? No, they just want to keep the sales up, keep the engagement up by re-releasing the game with a title it hasn't earned and then sell it at an extortionate price to try to fleece the consumer as much as possible. Inaccurately throwing around the title Game of the Year Edition as well is misleading. People think they're going to be playing a far better game than Ubisoft have made. Because let's be real, Far Cry 6, I may not have played it, and I'll hold my hands up and say I'm wrong if I'm wrong, but I have no doubts that it is the exact same as Far Cry 5, as Far Cry 4, and Far Cry 3. It uses false advertising to promote a bundle of the game being sold at an extortionate price when compared to how much it would cost if you just bought everything individually, which would work out at much less. Especially when you cut out the gear packs that are being thrown in as well, because nobody fucking needs those. Because gear packs don't have a value, they just have a cost. So Ubisoft says you pay this much to access this gear pack, it's not a depreciating value situation like buying the game would be. It's a zero value situation, and it will always be a zero value situation. Many games get Game of the Year editions. Many of those have never won Game of the Year. It's just thrown around, it means nothing. It's used in marketing to make it seem like something. Don't be confused into thinking that reading that title on the box of a game means that you're getting a quality experience, because that's not necessarily what it means. It's just a regurgitation of the game with all of the expansion content thrown in and lumped in basically into one bundle. And usually it's fine because it's a deal. It's cheaper than buying everything individually, but in this instance it's really not. It's just a one click, you've spent far too much money on this thing. So it's using the pretense of a Game of the Year edition to actually try to suck more money out of the consumer, and it's disgusting. When a game as young as Far Cry 6 is going for the price that Far Cry 6 is going for now, like the standalone, just base version of the game, if you go out of your way and look, it means people aren't playing it anymore. Ubisoft knows that. Ubisoft knows people aren't buying it as much 
as they were. So they've released this new edition to try to appeal to a broader consumer base that might see the Game of the Year title and go, yeah, that'll be worth the £100 that it'll cost to buy. And by that point, it'll be too late, especially with digital editions, because you can refund a physical copy. But depending on where you get the digital edition, it can be a little bit harder. Were this a good, fair, reasonable deal, I don't think it would be a problem. I think it would be a bit weird, but okay. A bit pretentious, but okay. The game's probably mediocre to be generous, but it's not a good deal. It's so much more expensive than buying the expansions individually and forgetting about the gear packs because you don't need them. And if you think you do, then you've literally been manipulated by Ubisoft for too long. Microtransactions, they're predatory and anti-consumer to the highest degree within the games industry at the very least and there's no place for them in gaming in my opinion at least not in single player experiences that you are paying a lot of money for already so forget about the gear packs they mean nothing they won't add to the experience at all you're left with basically the gold edition aren't you but more expensive the purpose of this video isn't necessarily about Far Cry 6 or what Ubisoft does because Ubisoft wouldn't be Ubisoft if they weren't finding a new way every month to further diminish the overall quality of video games on the whole. But because other companies might see what Ubisoft did here, prey on people's lack of attention spans that prevents them from finding the better deal to pay a ridiculous amount more on a game of the year edition that in my opinion probably isn't even accurately titled it's more like a joke of the year edition because this is like a bad joke let's be real it's basic manipulation game of the year edition doesn't necessarily mean it's won a game of the year award it can be thrown around for any reason the tactic being employed by ubisoft here is slapping the game of the year edition title on a regular Ubisoft game that will be no different from the past five Ubisoft games and certainly no different from the upcoming 10. Give it an eye-watering price tag and hope that people don't notice you can get the game and its expansions cheaper if you didn't buy that edition. That can't catch on. Do you understand what I'm saying? That can't catch on in the broader gaming industry. Like Companies can't do this and we need to make it clear that it's not acceptable for this to happen. And the best way to do that is sadly to vote with your wallet. If you want to play Far Cry 6, great. Buy the standard edition, cheap somewhere, buy the DLC separately, and I'm sure you'll have a better time because you'll have spent less money. As for the gear packs, forget about those. Microtransactions are incredibly predatory and don't cave to them whatsoever. Don't give them the time of day. That's just my opinion. You may have a differing one. That's perfectly fine. But listen, video games would certainly have a greater landscape where microtransactions not souring them. I'm not trying to say don't enjoy the games that you enjoy. Even if the games you enjoy are the games that I perceive as completely soulless, failing to innovate in a complete rehash of something that's already been done by that company 10 times over at least. What I am trying to say is don't be manipulated by the company behind it, look for the better deal. Otherwise, this sort of bullshit will become the norm. This sort of bad, out of season, April Fool's joke will become the standard. That is not an environment that I would like to see. And for those of you who are going to jump on the fact that I haven't mentioned that Far Cry 6 Joke of the Year Edition includes Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, it's not as strong a point as you think. Game of the Year Edition, really? Who the fuck are they trying to fool? On the business side, I do sort of get why this has happened. You need to appeal to your investors and keep turning around high profits and all that. But surely to Christ, just make decent games. I would have thought that would still sell because people want decent games. Anyway, that's enough of me raging into the void. Whatever you do, make sure it's your decision. If you want to buy Far Cry 6 Game of the Year Edition, do your due diligence, look around, find the better deal, because you absolutely will find it. Even if it is buying everything individually, it'll probably cost less. Bide your time if not, because it will eventually. Let's make sure companies don't think that this is acceptable to make the norm, because it really isn't. At this point, you could basically infer that Ubisoft thinks its audience is stupid. They may not be wrong, but don't be stupid. 
prove them wrong. Thank you all for watching. I apologize that this video is a little bit after the fact with this one. I was away and I got back a few days ago. I took a day to rest. I made a video on some secrets in Mass Effect that I wanted to do. And I'll probably go back to making videos on game secrets because this stuff hurts my head a little bit. But it had to be spoken about because I don't want it to become the norm. And that's basically the bottom line of this entire video. We shouldn't let this as consumers become the norm because otherwise it will. And that is random game of the year editions being released at extortionate prices to prey on people's lack of attention spans when you can find a better deal elsewhere. It's not the worst thing Ubisoft has done, but it's certainly not a good thing. Ubisoft has no respect for its consumer. Why should we have any respect for Ubisoft? Thank you all for watching. Hopefully more fun videos soon. And of course, I'll see you all very soon, hopefully, with another video at some point. But until next time, take care and goodbye.